Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 10 of Direwolf20's Omnifactory series, uh, where today I'm debating whether I want to get into uh, better applied energistics and like start that going, or, or up my power gen, and I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the latter and getting my power gen a little bit better under control, which I should be able to do... Uh, and I've, I've kind of spent the last 10 or 15 minutes um, doing a little mining and also um, planning out how I can do power. So early game power gen, uh, there's a handful of dynamos we can make, right? So steam and magmatic and stuff. Um, and that stuff looks pretty cool, right? Reactant and, and all that stuff. There's also generators. Um, so I see the coal generator from actual editions, but I don't see the empowered oil. So I don't know that that's a thing. There's also a block called the Ultimate Generator, but I don't think we're making that anytime soon. Um, you know, there's there's a handful of others. Um, there's the standard extra utilities ones, so like all that good stuff, right? Um, and eventually to the Rainbow Generator. Um, there's also the basic diesel generator. Aha, uh -huh, how do you work? You can make a steel plated micro miner tier one, um, but in order to use you, all right, cool. So you voltage out 32 LV, all right, cool. But I'm thinking my best bet for now, I do want to check this out because this looks pretty neat. Um, but uh, I think my best bet for now is probably Magmatic or or Steam, right? And Steam is what I'm doing right now, but Magmatic would be nice and simple, right? Get Lava, um, make Generator. Seems straightforward enough. Uh, now we do have pumps, ranged pumps, uh, which need power, of course, but they only need a block of Ender Pearl, which remember we can make Ender Pearls with diamonds and that dust. So we have access to Ender Pearls, easy peasy. Um, oh, hello, this is a thing. I think we'll do it this way. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the way we'll do Ender Pearls. We won't make Ender Pearls this way. No, we'll make Ender Pearls this way. Yes, I'm, con I'm scared, but a little excited, but also scared, but tiny bit excited about that other screen that we just looked at. Like, what? Anyway, uh, so we'll do that, right? Ender pumps uh, to pump up the ender. We have uh, ender tanks right there. So we do have to pop into the end. We're gonna need um, a portable tank, which seems totally doable. Fused quartz, yeah, it's, that's that's a thing we could make, right? Is fused quartz available to us right now? Or, or hardened glass, right? Uh, let's make sure that hardened glass can be made inside the alloy smeltery. Yes, obsidian dust and lead dust. And obsidian dust can be made in a pulverizer with obsidian, I hope. Yes, cool. And I'm assuming lead dust can as well. So that means we can, we do have access to iron glass, right? Um, and then the only other thing we need for an ender tank, so I want an ender tank, I want a dynamo, and I want a magmatic jet dynamo, right? That looks pretty cool, right? And that stuff should be cool. What I'm thinking is we could have the ender pump um, getting fluid directly from the ranged pump itself um, and just powering it constantly, right? And feeding energy and, and, and feeding the lava into the uh, ender tank, which comes back home and we have a dynamo back here. So to make all this happen, we gotta pop over to uh, the nether, which as you can see, I've got obsidian and flint and steel on me. Uh, I did check with the mod pack author to see, is it cheating to go to the nether using using this method or should I not, you know, be doing this? And he basically said, uh, no, it's it's okay. Like, um, he said one of the mods is supposed to disable the nether portal, but it's up to you if you want to use it. It's not that big a deal if you use the nether portal instead of the, uh, instead of the cake. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to pop over to the nether. So uh, I, I made myself some armor and I think we've got a little bit more iron plate left in here. Hey, you were supposed to do that. Thank you. You can go away. You can make me my helmet, and that's cool. Uh, how am I for food? I've seen better days with a food resource thing going on. Where are we at? Eh, not bad. I can get a little bit more of that stuff. And I have a potato. Not ideal. And yes, I'm aware I could probably just, uh, you know, use some of my fertilizer here, but I don't know, for some reason I'm always like super conservative about using that, right? I'm like, uh, do I want to waste it? So, though I think I've found appetite, haven't I? Have I found appetite? I'm not sure. But I'm thinking like in here might be, what if I built it into the wall? How cool would that be? Wouldn't that be cool? 
I think that would be cool. How do we feel about this? Yeah, I like it. All right, to the nether we go. Hopefully some semblance of safeness. Um, so my goal here is to find a nice spot for getting uh, lava pumped to the overworld. And also I need blaze rods. So we're gonna wanna be cognizant of that, right? Um, and a little soul sand might not hurt me either while I'm here, I'm just saying. You know what I totally need to do before I come here, though? So first off, let's see. Is that a whole bunch of nether quartz? Because that's awesome if it is. Look, glowstone. Which, we have the ability to craft glowstone right now. Is this ardite? Or what is this yellow stuff? Sulfur ore. Sweet. Sweet. Nether sulfur ore, which melts into sulfur dust. I will take that. Uh, and spalerite ore. Which... Crass melts into zinc. Okay, neat. So yeah, I'd really like to find like a nether fortress or something for blaze rods. That would be cool. But look, we have a lot of lava down there, so that's exciting. We shouldn't have too much of a problem setting up a lava setup. Um, there's a few other things I'd love to do while I'm here, but yeah. Easy access to lava? I'll take it. I will take it indeed. We just have to be careful about what direction we move out of this portal at. So blaze rods, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing a blaze option jumping out at me. You know what I need to do before I go into the nether? I'll tell you guys what I need to do before I go into the nether. I need to recharge my magnet, which is pretty out of energy at the moment. But luckily, can I? There's no charger in here anymore, but I can still do it here. This is how I did it before. I think I did this off camera and didn't show you guys. But this is how you can charge your magnet before you have a wired charger. Cool? Just saying, and you should be draining out. Yes, beautiful. Everything's working the way it's supposed to. I love it, I love it. And you're doing your job and everybody's happy. All right, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is explore the nether a little bit. Let's, um, do I, can I make a, you know what was really helpful for exploring the nether? One of these guys. Um, just saying. I am just saying, iron. And I think we have lapis. Do I have lapis? Haven't I found lapis? Lapis ore. Yeah, I have. Nice. Sweet. So if I got one of these bad boys, you guys smell. I have to charge this thing. My buddy. My buddy, the building gadget. That's what's up. He's helpful for getting around the nether, as you guys may or may not know. And if you don't know, you're going to find out how helpful he is pretty soon. So uh, let me let that charge up, and I'll meet you guys back in the nether in a minute. All right. So this guy is pretty full. Let me just clean up my inventory real fast. I'll put these things away because I don't want to accidentally waste them. You know what? You can go in there with another rack, and you're gonna get these two new war types. And I do want to bring my obsidian with me. Maybe not quite this much, but just in case something happens to the portal, right? And my flint and steel. That sounds nice. So now that my magnet's back up and running, because it was completely out of juice, so it wasn't working at all. That happened while I was mining earlier. Um, so, let's get you ready to go. Oh, that's right. Uh, let me fix my controls. Uh, F, I usually take off of swap item in hands. And I usually do... Who else is using F? Settings menu for building gadgets. Yep, that's me. Should be cool. Yeah. So like if I wanted stairs of like range eight, that 
that should be nice. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Pretty good. So what we'll want is something like this. Cool. So now I have stairs that lead down to my lava area, right? And then I can also do some good old build to me's so that I can get around a little bit easier. So now let's see if we can find ourselves a blaze or something and I'll be back shortly. Booyah, return to sender. Take that, ghast. Trying to attack me. Back to looking for blazes. Hey, hey, I think I found something. Look over there. It's hard to see, but I see it. I see nether brick, which means I think I found a thingy. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. Uh, how should I get over there? What's the best? Whoa. That, that was almost bad. That was almost bad. Uh, so it's definitely off in that direction, right? So let's go back towards my portal. Now that I have like a rough idea of where the thing is and see how easily I can get there. Oh man, that's like a, there's basically a giant mountain in the way, which is not cool. But building gadgets might be able to help. What I should be doing is, is this. Let's do this. Let's get a bunch of netherrack and use netherrack to build for a minute. Seems fair, right? A real quick netherrack boost. So what we'll do is some kind of either build to me or stairs or something. Because I'd like to get up there if I can. But we want to be careful about it because we don't want to we don't want to fall off our platform here and what i should do is build three sets of stairs that would be smart i know dude i know right and then we can build up from there further hmm Let's do a build to me here. With a little bit of a safety bridge going on. And what we'll do is dig straight through here. To what appears to be that thing. Now, of course, I'm going to, like, break my diamond hammer, because I did go mining between episodes just a little bit. But we should be getting close. I can kind of see it on the map. Hey, look, we are getting close. That's actually, like, really nice. Because now we have kind of, like, a direct tunnel. You know what I can do is I can just void anything that is clogging up my inventory at the moment. Yeah, and maybe even you. Not not the soul sand. Sweet. All right, now I have to find some blazes, which hopefully won't be too hard to find in here. I see weather skeletons, which I don't really want to mess with at this moment because I have a little bit of food, but I don't have a lot of food. What I'm hoping is I'm relatively near a blaze spawner, but my luck thus far probably indicates that I am not. That looks like a blaze spawner. Isn't a blaze spawner usually in a structure like that with the with the fences and whatnot? I think so. But let's see what happens. Let's see if I can get lucky. I mean, it's covered in lava, so that's not ideal by far. Also, what's this black ore stuff? Is that something special, or is that like nether coal ore? It's nether magnetite ore. So yeah, that's probably a blaze spawner, but unfortunately it is being literally covered in a curtain of lava. So that's not an ideal blaze spawner by far. All right, let's come back in a sec. I'm gonna look around here. Oh guys, we might've found something. 
Ow. Yep. Nope, we found something, all right. <laughs> we found a spawner that looks relatively easily accessible. If I can get to it from just the right angle here, that would be... Now, can you shoot fireballs through the, through the fences? Dire and vanilla knowledge, I know. Gonna hurt. Gonna be a little tricky. I can do this. That's a lot of mobs, though. Like, they are really grouped up in there. I wonder if they're self-contained already, because that would be awesome. That would be some really good luck, actually. The problem is stopping them from spawning. Long enough to get my blaze rods in that one, and having enough food. I might have to go back to my base and, and get some more food, but at least we found what looks to be a pretty good spawner. Definitely don't have the food for this. Let me head back to my base real quick, and I'll meet you guys back there. All right, we're back home. Whoo! That was some shenanigans. So I found a nice blaze spawner, but we need to get the blaze rods out of it. So what I'm going to do is fertilize up a bunch of crops, get myself a bunch of food, and then head back down there. All right, check out this awesome thing I've got going on here now. I sneak right down this path, right? Relatively safe and protected from bad guys. Uh, swing down this way. Do, 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 do. I think I hang a right down here. And I just keep on going until I hit somewhere that looks cool. Keep on going, keep on going. It just so happened that what had happened was I, while I was down here exploring, okay, I got lost. Hold on. Where am I? What am I doing? What's going on? All these tunnels look the same, but I found it. <laughs> it just so happened that... Ooh, there's a couple blazes. I'll go back and kill them. They seem killable. Ow. Ow. Oh, nope, hold on. Things suddenly got a lot worse for me. Running away! Woot. And they despawned. <laughs> oh, how lucky that was. Uh, yeah, so basically, this is where I was, and I saw dude spawning. Nice. All right. So now that there's not a million of them here, because, you know, obviously, uh, that's pretty nice. So what I'll do is, while I'm here, so if I'm, like, really sharp about it and make it quick, I should be able to make make it so that, like, see, we're already self-contained. That's awesome, really. Um, that's super awesome. Sweet. Blaze rods. Alright, farming blazes for a few minutes so I can get the uh, blaze rods that I need to make the ender tank. All right, so I got a dozen blaze rods, which is a little bit more than I needed, but hey, you know what? It's all good. So with that said, let's take five of these and some sticks and get myself a new hammer because it broke on me. Cool. Uh, the next thing I need to do to get magmatic, though, is I need to find some bedrock. Uh, and I need to bring my flint and steel with me, and I might need some extra flint and steel, so I'm going to bring more flints and steels with me to bedrock. Uh, so I've got the flint and steel needs a steel nugget and some flint. Yeah. And uh, can I make flint with gravel? Is that recipe a thing? Kind of. Kind of a thing. Not the normal thing, but 
you know, enough of a thing. So gravel, you go away for a bit, and uh, I will meet you guys. I'm gonna go find some bedrock somewheres, and I'll meet you down there. Uh, you know, I think probably the best place to go would be my hmm, my diamond farm, which is in this general direction. Because my diamonds, I remember being pretty close to like Y level three or four, maybe it was ten. Either way, uh, I'm gonna head over to my diamond farm because I could use more diamonds anyway. I'm getting a little bit low on them, so I'll harvest up some diamonds um, and then grab some. Uh, the grains of infinity from ender io for bedrock so you can see look at all the mining i've done all the mining i've done la 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 i think this is my lead mine yep lead ore right and then this has some lapis in it so that when i need lapis in large quantities i know where to go this is a copper vein uh, but there's uh there's copper here and then there's uh some other stuff right but lots of copper and a bunch of these other sapphires and things almondine and a few other guys um, I've, I've done a pretty good job of finding lots of different resources. Uh, and then I think my diamond mine is up this way. Yup. So what I'm going to do here... Oh wow, you guys are still here from all that time ago? That was a long time ago that I was down here. Uh, I, I had come down and ran out of inventory space, so I started just dropping items on the ground. And I guess the chunk unloaded, so that makes sense. Sweet. All right, so uh, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to harvest up a bunch of diamond, because I'm here, right? And then the other thing I'm going to do, because I'm here, check this out. We need to do the, the bedrock stuff. So I think I'll do that in this general direction. There it is. So what I'm going to do... Anyone remember, like, there was a version of Minecraft a while back. I don't know if you guys remember this. Where the deeper you got, the more likely mobs would spawn. And even at, like, Y level... Like, if you came down to Bedrock, it was, like, really hard to see. It was really hazy. Um, and, like, there was almost nothing you could do to prevent mobs from spawning. All the way down here. It lasted for a very short period of time. And then I think they rolled back that change. Probably realized people weren't loving it. Does that look pretty good? Pretty good. Not terrible. Good enough. Alright, so you... Remember this for uh, Ender.io? This is how we do the thing. Now, luckily, making more of these ain't hard. You can hear it doing the popping thing. Quest complete, Grains of Infinity, hooray! So I'll be back in a few minutes after I burn up all my uh, flint and tinders and get all this stuff. All right, guys, so uh, our next course of action will be to get all the stuff we need to enable magmatic generation of power. Um, so the plan here is to establish power gen, right? So that should be four of these. Nice. All right, now I just need um, four more paper rings, eight more paper rings, and four more tin screws. Four of you, eight of you, four of you. And then we needed a bunch of paper, which I think we should be able to enable ourselves with. We should have sugar cane around here somewhere. Sweet. Cooked up a few diamonds. Because why not? Now, was it paper in here? Was I doing the paper rings? I forget. Uh, but that's all right. We'll just, we'll just do it manually. That's with the knife. That's right. So is that enough to get the pumps that I need? It might be. I need tin cables. Oh, I need, I need four electric motors, too. Four electric motors. Hang on. I have those somewhere, don't I? Yeah, I do. So you can throw some iron and redstone in here. Not my diamonds, though. Is that iron ingots? Oh, my file is over here, that's why. One of these days, dudes, I'll have more automation going, and this will be a little less crazy. So it's three per, right? And then I need four of you. 
And I need a bunch of copper. You can go in here. You can extrude into wires some more. Are you done? You're almost done, Ender Pearling it up. Um, you have a little bit more work to do. Are you cool? You're cool enough. Nice. There's your four motors. And then what else do we need for the pump? Four tin cables and we should be good. That's alloy. Tin cables. Let's borrow this. Do that, that, that. I feel like we're pretty darn close. What am I missing here? Screwdriver? Wrench? It's probably the wrench. Nice. I just need the uh, medium bronze plates, which is... I'm going to need a dozen more plates of bronze. I have one bronze. And then some tin, right? I think I just threw a bunch of tin somewhere. Yeah. That should be cool. Are you done enough? I think you're done enough. Make me some bronze for a minute, and then you can go back to making ender pearls. And you have to get hammering, because we need like a dozen bronze plates. All right, last of the ender pearls being made, making uh, some steel next. I'm kind of juggling the different things I need to make here. You guys go away for a minute. You can come over here and do this, which means that you're now craftable. If I have a file, which I do, I'm kind of juggling the same file over and over, but we'll eventually get to a better point with that, right? And now you should be good for the remaining three of those. Nice. So that means ranged pump is literally craftable right now, provided I get the right amount of ender pearl blocks. I might need a few more ender pearls, to be honest with you. But hey, uh, four obsidian later. And we've got an ender pump. Woot! This will pick up all the lava for us, right? Uh, the other thing we need to make is um, some infinity bimetal gears, which needs um, iron gears, right? So to make that, I can either alloy smelt eight iron with a gear mold, or I can extruder, but there's only an advanced tier for an extruder. I don't think we're quite there yet, so we might have to wait to get the extruder. I don't think we can do this yet, and I probably can't do that yet, and even if I can, it's a lot of steps. So uh, I need four steel plates to make what I need to make. How are you doing on my steel, buddy? You're doing pretty good, pretty good. I might need even more steel, to be honest with you. So what I think I'm going to do is get a dozen iron here. Let's rot it up with the smelting operations. And that should be cool. Four steel plates. I think I've got everything I need in here, right? So I need you, one of these guys. Doot, 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 doot. That's that right and now i've got this i'm assuming this is gonna last more than one operation right quest complete gear mold yay uh now i need i, I ultimately want four gears right so let's go 8 16 24 32 in here right now you've just got a few more operations to go through um to get the other thing we need to get is um Alloy smelter is being used for a lot of things right now. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, 100% used for a lot of things right now. But let's get the 32 of you cooking. Let's get our wrought iron so we can make more steel. And let's macerate up this coal. You can go away, you can come with me, you can go in there, and you're making your thing. Cool. I'm going to go check on my power situation as well, because we might be struggling a little bit. You're low. You're doing okay, actually. Surprisingly okay. You know what it is? Is those batteries, when you have four batteries in there, they store a lot of power. So they actually do just fine for themselves. I could probably burn... A little bit of coal. When I went mining before, I found a lot of coal. So that's what I'll do for fuel for a minute. So you get to work there, buddy. 
Nice, our first gears. So I can alloy smeltery you with two grains of infinity, make the infinity by metal gear, which I need to get the dark by metal gear. So we also need dark steel, which is why I have steel going on, right? Because dark steel, I think it's obsidian that I need for that. So let me get all this crafting out of the way and we'll be right back. All right, guys, making progress at least. Uh, we're up to two dark by metal gears here. Lots and lots of crafting going into this uh, behind the scenes a little bit, but uh, the basic work is, is coming to fruition. Uh, I need more steel, so I've got that ready to go. But the foundation of what I need is here. So I've got these guys. I'm going to need the three silver rods. I think I've got silver somewhere. Yep, three silver rods. Or two silver rods. Well, th six, yes. Right, and then throw the redstone in. That's this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Um, I need four dark steel plates. So let's do this. Let's take these out. Get ready for this to smelt together into dark steel again. And this should be my magmatic. Well, that's cooking. What do I need for you? Uh, realistically, all I need... I didn't look into redstone servos. Oh, I need these. Electrical steel plates. I should be able to make that. Back in a minute. Still have more work to do. Hey, achievement get. Magmatic dynamos, though. Woohoo! All right. So six electrical steel plates are going to be involved. Now, the other thing we need, and I think I have one of them, is this stuff to make the tanks. Because uh, that's what we're working on now is the ender tank. So we have the pump. We have the two dynamos. Now I just need the ender tanks to transfer the lava to and from. Doesn't look too bad, uh, but we need... Eight resonating redstone crystals. Which I can do a block of redstone and an ender shard. I can do this. It's a lot of redstone. But I think I have enough. Right? I can take this stack. Do I have any more redstone by chance over here? Not in there. Not in there. A bit in here. Get to work, buddy. Cool. Um, and then we get you guys cooking. You make me another ender pearl that I need. That'll break into the eight pieces, and then I should be good. Right? And then you needed to alloy smelt. Alloy smelt to replace a big role in all these uh, crafting steps that we're doing here. There you go. We'll save this extra one. That'll be the seven of these that we need. Beautiful. Way cheaper once I get into uh, the Atomic Reconstructor, dude, but I don't have access to that just yet until I build that big multi-block machine that I've been kind of putting off a little bit. Um, and didn't we say hardened glass would be doable with four obsidian dust and a lead dust? So I needed how many of those? Six? Yes. I hope that you don't turn into one. Oh, you do. So I need 24 obsidian. Ah, I think I need more obsidian. Pfft. Womp womp. There's not like some other sneaky way to get more of this, is there? An enchanting table gets me how many? Four? Not quite worth the effort. Um, let's see. Yeah, and then I need four lead dust. Or six lead dust. I think I've got lead in here somewhere. No, that's nickel. Do I not have any processed lead? Because I'm sure I've got some. You know, I'm just going to smelt it off. Why not? No sense, no sense saving the ore. All right? There's your four. Boom. I definitely need to get a little more obsidian. Though, to be fair, once I get pumping lava... Obsidian will be a little less trouble, right, for me? Man, look at all this junk I've got. It's shenanigans. Pure shenanigans. All right, so I need... Um... Actually, am I good? No, because I needed... Uh, I needed... That's right. I needed six, not eight. Right. Yeah, that's the problem is I need six hardened glass. What about quartz glass? Just to be curious. Quartz glass. Or fused quartz, yeah. Fused quartz. 
Alloy smeltery of, ooh, that's a lot better. You know what, let's hang on to you. That's a lot better, right? That should be more than sufficient. Um, we'll use you later. So this might be cool. And then I needed, was it eight plates? Yes. And that should be pretty good, right? So I should be able to make this now, should be able to make this now, and this is in progress. Nice, that's actually more than I need even. And then, yeah, no, we're good here, guys. We're good. We cooked this up, and then we have everything we need to put this together. This episode's running long. Looks like I had to go mining for more obsidian anyway. So two servos yields two of these. And theoretically, I should be able to do one, two of those. Nice. That is what's up. Dudes, look what I got. I got everything I need. You know what I'd love to do? You know what I'd love to do? I'd love to get two poppies just so I can flag these as red. Now, let's just do one or two dies in this pack. One. You never know. But I would like them to be in some way, shape, or form signified as red. Cool? All right, meet you in the nether. You know what I'm, I'm going to do right before we go? I want to make an excitation field limiter, which should be doable. Oh, I need four more of you and three more of you. I miscalculated. My bad. Excitation field limiter. You guys. This is the thing that makes it not waste any fuel at all. Which I want. You know? I mean, I could put the other one in there too. How expensive was that thing? This makes it like use less fuel, right? Fuel catalyzer. That would probably not be a bad idea. Wrought iron plates. I need eight wrought iron. Do I have that handy? Maybe I'll do that. Uh, yeah, real quick. There we go. I think that's going to be useful. Episode 10. Extra long episode for you guys. How's that work out? Anybody upset about that? I hope not. Because we're going to go set up this magma gen. And then it's going to be cool. I'm very excited because um, having access to magma based power is going to be a nice investment for us. That's going to be a nice, like, we've got access to this. And that'll help me out for a long time to come. So I think what I'm going to do is F3G it up so we know what chunk we're in, right? Um, now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the way I want to place this thing is something like here, right? And then I'm going to want one of these facing you, right? You don't need an energy, or you don't need um, stuff, right? And I just put you in there and you start running. And then we place this guy on top, and then your augments go in, and you should be getting lava. Look at that! It's working! Look! He already he already converted that to stone. How cool is that? He's filling up his internal buffer. We want to flag this area as a claimed chunk for direwolf. You're going to now need lava piped into you, and I made pressurized fluid conduits, which are easier to make than normal in this pack. You only need glass instead of any kind of fancy glass. So east will be extract always active, and down will be insert only, and you should be getting lava for days. Booyah! Right? And now we get out of here, and we validate that our chunk loading thing works. So what we should see now is that magma thing should be more than enough power to keep that pump going. And... We're getting an ender tank of lava, which means easier access to things like both obsidian and magmatic based power, which is super cool. And I'm very excited. Right? So, my second magma based power, dude, I think I've still got some conduit in here. I've got literally one. So, for the time being, what I'm going to do, and this is obviously temporary. Right, but we pop this dude down. Now, how much lava is in here? Let's make sure that he's continuing to gain lava, right? That's what I wanna see. I wanna see lava go up. Go on, more lava. I chunk loaded him, so he should be working. Well, he lost a little bit. Does that count? I'm thinking he'll gain a little bit here at some point. 
Maybe that ranged pump ain't so fast. He might still be initializing a little bit. I don't know. I'll keep an eye on him. Um, I'll mess with the chunk loading a little bit. I, it should be good, right? Should be good. I mean, the fact that it lost some means that it's using a bit of fuel over there, right? Um, failing that, we'll figure out a way. But I think you only have to keep the ranged pump itself chunk loaded, and it'll, you know, figure out the rest from itself. But there we go. Hey, look, we just got a bucket of lava. Boom, it's working. Chunk loader's working. So now I just have to do this, and you fill up, and you generate power for me. Nice. Nice. All right. Uh, and I want to make an excitation field. Let me run all that for that guy. So I'm going to do that on camera now. For now, Dalton is signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will definitely be back next time to do more fun stuff. For now, you know what to do. Take it easy. <laughs>